Well, first of all, I think this answer is going to be different if you're a complete beginner versus a more experienced triathlete. For a complete beginner, what I would recommend is doing all three sports until you achieve a level of competency in all three. Do a few races and then you'll understand where your weaknesses are. Now let's assume you're a little further down the road, you've done a few races, and now you ask this question about which sport to prioritize. If you look at an average Ironman finisher, let's say about 14 hours, and you think about improving 10% in each discipline, that would yield about a 10 minute increase on the swim, 42 minutes on the bike, and 30 minutes on the run. If you were to improve by 20% in each sport, that would yield only 20 in the swim, 84 on the bike, and 60 on the run. From this, it seems obvious that focusing on the bike is the key thing to do. One, because it saves you the most time overall in something like an Ironman, and B, being stronger on the bike will actually set you up for a better run. But having said that, it's important to account for your own personal strengths and weaknesses. If you're a great biker and there's not much more room for improvement, then focusing on the run is going to yield you a pretty good improvement as well. So that's how I would sum it up. Beginner, do all three until you have an understanding of what your weaknesses are. If you're more experienced, if you're a strong biker, you may want to focus on the run. But if you're not sure, focus on the bike. That's going to improve your bike, reduce some time, set you up for a good run as well.